For this project, we'll be learning how to create a controller library using Qt. Our controller library will be flexible and will support thumbnails. We can import any of the objects that we save out. And we can also create any new objects we want. In this case, I will save this as the test. And when I hit save, you'll see that it shows up inside of our window. We'll learn how to save data out as JSON files, as well as load them back into our UI. We'll be using Qt provided by PySide 2 inside of Maya 2017 and PySide in previous versions of Maya. We'll go over the differences between Qt 4 and Qt 5, as well as the differences between PyQt and PySide and PyQt 5 and PySide 2. I'll also be going over a popular Qt library that's used by Disney, Weta, Sony Imageworks, and more that will help us write code that can be used by Qt in both Maya 2017 and previous versions of Maya. In the next video, I'll do a brief introduction to Qt and the different versions of Qt used inside the different versions of Maya.